Greetings, everyone. This is an important primary election for the upcoming U.S. Congressman in the House of Representatives coming up on September 5th of 2023. Congressman from the House of Representatives is known as David Chicheling. He has served as your Congressman for 12 years since 2011, and he has resigned to take over a new position as Chief Executive Officer with the Rhode Island Foundation. Now that vacancy is now existing, and he has served for 12 years, and we want to thank him for an outstanding job. Now you probably want to know what you should be doing. You and your family should be looking forward to the upcoming election in District 1. So if you notice the map in District 1 over my shoulder, you will take notice that Bristol County has the following towns and city. Providence County is listed as follows. Now you notice that Providence, it says, and parts of Providence, because there are two districts within Providence, District 1 and District 2. It is important that you look when you register your vote which district you belong to. Once you register for that, then you would know that you will vote for District 1. If you live in District 2, you don't have to worry about that election at the moment. Congressional District 1, you're probably wondering who are the candidates. Wow, in total we have 15 candidates. It's a first in its history. Historically, we've had a few people running, but now we have 15. 13 are running as Democrats, and the following names are those people on my right hand side. We have two individuals running as Republicans. Are you a registered voter in Rhode Island yet? If yes, that's great. And if you haven't registered, it's okay because we strongly encourage you to register to vote in the following manner. There are three different ways that you can register to vote. The first one is to do it online, where you can put in your information, or you can mail in your form, or you can show up in person and submit your registration form. The following link will provide that information as follows. Once you have the registration to vote, that has to be done by August the 6th, which is this Saturday, for the primary election, which is gonna take place on September the 5th. That information that fed into online is important. You must have a valid driver's license or an official validated state ID with your first and last name and your birth date to make sure that all these things are legal. The registration form that can be mailed in can be downloaded you can fill it out manually and then mail it in, or you can show up in person. And if you want to know where to go in person to show that, you can look online to see where those locations are at. Remember, the deadline to register to vote is August the 6th, which is this Saturday, for the primary election, special election, which is going to take place on September the 5th, 2023. Now we're going to talk about the election day itself. Previously, we spoke about how to register to vote. Now that we got that out of the way, let's focus on the election day. When you show up on September the 5th, 2023. Or you can have early voting, which begins on August the 16th through September the 4th, which is known as early voting. And the third way is to mail in your ballot. Now, if you take advantage, there is a link, the following link, and that will give you more information with early voting, where to go in your district, where to go to vote, and also how to mail in your ballot and where to mail your ballot to. If you need more additional information about how to go about this and need some assistance, you can contact Mike Bear from the Rhode Island Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. His VP number is as follows. Please take advantage and get out there and vote. Thank you.